He, he was just a small, uh, small town personality guy. He talked to anybody. He, had, he, uh, uh, everybody uh, uh, loved to see him coming. And uh, uh, except, I'm sure some of the some of the people on the football field. A sad start to the weekend for many football fans. Former Arkansas Razorback Mitch Petras has died from an apparent heat stroke. Mitch was well known and made an everlasting impact both on and off the football field. Tonight, our very own Wes Moore digging into the fearless Friday analyst's career and his legacy. Mm. Mitch Petras walked on at the University of Arkansas in 2005. At first he was a fullback, but then moved to the offensive line. Former Razorback assistant coach Gus Malzahn coached Mitch in the Arkansas High School Football All-Star Game and again at the University of Arkansas. He loved football. He had a great passion. Um, you know, he had great positive energy. I can't remember one time that I felt like he had a bad day. He was just one of those real positive people that had great positive energy. By 2007, Mitch was an all-SEC lineman for Houston Nutt while blocking for Darren McFadden. Yeah, you just knew that, uh, you know, he had it. He had this want to, and uh, he had this enthusiasm and this passion. Uh, the, whether he's in the weight room, and he was so strong, weight room or on the field, uh, you, you just, just loved his attitude, you loved his energy, and you loved the way he brought it every single day. Man, that's a, that's, that's a tough, man. Um, a guy like Mitch Petras, man, that's a, that's a guy that's a, he's a joy to be around, man. He can put a smile on anybody's face, brighten up any room that he walks into, man. It's, um, it, it's just a tough deal to, you, uh, to lose a guy like him so young, man. Mitch made All-SEC again in 2009 as a redshirt senior. He went to the NFL Combine and put on a show, putting up 45 reps in the bench press, the second most ever. The New York Giants selected Mitch in the fifth round of the 2010 NFL Draft. He started three games in 2011 and won a Super Bowl ring with the Giants. His NFL career came to an end in 2013. I'm Mitch Petras, and we're here at North Little Rock versus McClellan, and we had the first half highlights coming up. The NFL's loss was our game. In 2015, Mitch began reporting for Fearless Friday. Next season is upon us. We got more food than Golden Corral. I'm officially running for Senate. Joe T. Robinson is my running mate. Oh, no, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Every Friday night in the fall for the last four seasons, he put on a show for high school football fans. <laughs> a big man with a big personality and a bigger heart and a bigger smile. That you're laugh, not, I'll never forget that laugh. Yeah. And you know what? You're not going to be able to replace him on oh, Fearless Friday. No. Just, there's just no way. How did you discover him for Fearless Friday in the first place? Well, I interviewed him while he was with the Razorbacks, okay, of course, yeah. and knew what a great interview he was, great personality. I remember having him on the radio show several times at different stops, and he was always great on the radio. And I thought, you know what, when he was on our Sunday night show as a Razorback analyst, he was fantastic, a great personality, and he wanted to do more. He, mm. he wanted the challenge, and we threw this out for reporting for Fearless Friday. <laughs> I think it was his idea, actually. I was like, <laughs> okay, let me see. We'll run it by the boss. Let's and hold our breath. He, he was gold. He was radio gold, and he was TV gold. Yes, he, he was. His personality came through, and, and his love for football, and especially his love for high school football, came out in our coverage and I think mm -hmm. the fans that's what that's what attracted the fans well and he has a lot of fans oh. a lot of friends out there I know you've been asked to speak at his memorial service yeah that, that would be probably one of the tougher days for yeah, me as someone who speaks for a living sometimes finding the, the oh. right words are very tough to do mm -hmm. but it was uh, it was pretty amazing today to see Mitch Petras trending on Twitter it yes. wasn't for the right reason but mm -hmm. it just showed how much he was loved, not just here in Arkansas, but around the country. Yes. You know, you, I'm still seeing Giants fans uh, yeah. tweeting out that they're, 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 they're condolences uh, to the family, but it, it has impacted so many people, not just here in Arkansas mm -hmm. or central Arkansas, but all over the country. Yeah. And, and we, we have, have to remember that. Coming up in sports, you'll have one more thought on Mr. Yep. Petrus. We look forward to that. We do look forward to that. Thank you.